lose your life well, first live streaming um so i'm going to talk about in this uh, um streaming about how to use uh add-on called wps zotero to enable the writer uh, who use wps to also use zotero to cite where they are writing um so lately i have switched from microsoft office to wps so um because i'm a researcher so i often use zotero to cite when writing uh, it is quite a challenge when i use a new editing software that doesn't have this citation function that i have been using for years so i have been checking where i can enable this function and then in the end, I, I made it. So now I would like to share my screen and uh, there you will find my entire screen here, okay? Yeah, so basically, let me open my tutorial here. Let's go to desktop as this tutorial I have made in advance. I will explain one by one. As you can see now, when I open a doc file, um, it basically is automatically opened by WPS. You are looking at the WPS editing interface now. The, the very good part of using WPS is it integrates all kinds of formats of files into one interface. So for instance, it is, this is Word, right? Basically a doc file. And you can also have the spreadsheet, PPT, and uh, other like other files like a PDF or images. You can even have other uh, formats such as spreadsheets online to um, and some smartphones that you can collect feedback and uh, also uh, like mind mapping tools, that kind of thing. So the good thing about WPS is that you can have all these different formats open in the same interface. You don't need to go to different apps. So that's very convenient. And lately, oh, maybe not lately, but anyway, WPS has this AI as well to how um, to, to be integrated in the whole environment. So that's quite convenient. And, and I'm using Windows 11 home system. And uh, this procedure I'm going to explain only has been tested with my Windows 11 system. Uh, as for those users who use um, Mac OS or Linux, um, Linux perhaps you can also use the same add-on I introduced today, just there are some minor changes. You can find the details in the tutorial um, that I'm going to show later. Uh, as for the Mac OS, it's a little bit different. So that will be not covered in this tutorial. So the first step you can do is that you can download uh, three apps into your computer. The first one is uh, Zotero. If you already have it, you can skip this part. Um, the second one is the WPS Zotero add-on. So I'm going to go to the, um, here. Uh, this is the uh, page I send you. Um, you're going to come here and click this code and then download zip. Okay, so that's what I did. You can also do it other ways, but um, in this tutorial, you download the zip to your folder. And then at the end of this uh, page, you also find a different tutorial of how to install it. And uh, so you can also follow it to do it yourself. Uh, that's what I did. Anyway, so that's the second thing you can do. And then the last thing is you should do is to install Python 3. So let's go to this page. We'll show you. Yeah, here. So you can directly click download the Python 3.12.6. So, so far we have all three downloaded and you are going to see it here. Let me go to download. I already downloaded three. So that's Zotero, that's the Zotero, WPS Zotero add-on, that's Python 3.12.6. All this downloaded and then you installed them one by one, okay? So um, when, you, when you have this zip file, 
you can um, unzip it, extract all. And you're going to have an unzip folder called WPS the title main. If you click to enter, that's where what you are going to see. Okay, let's go back to the tutorial. You have the three installed. Uh, you, you have three downloaded. And then the second step is to install them. So one thing that I would like to mention is that when you download and install Python 3, um, when I was trying to install it, um, I couldn't find where to um, to add this Python to the path environment path environment variable. So I just directly click continue, continue, continue until the end of installing, and it showed to me that the installation has been completed. Um, so I couldn't find it. And what I did is to Okay, I re-click this one. And then it's going to ask you three options, right? So I click modify. Here, if um, you see here, if you go like, uh, uh, let me see. Ah, uh, this one. Uh, sorry, not this one, maybe next. Ah, uh, here. So you have add Python to environment variables. That's the basically third step if you re-click the installation, um, the installer, you download it, and it's going to allow you to add this choice to your installation. And then you click install, and that's how you basically can finish the whole installation without a problem. Okay, yes. So that's a, a note to you. Another thing I would like to mention is, um, well, when you try to install WPS Dotello add-on, you can just directly go to the unzipped folder and look for install.py file. So if you click install here, you're going to install what you have, uh, what you need like this one. But if this one doesn't happen on your machine, you can follow another instruction page um, given by the developer. Although it is in, in Chinese, you can basically um, start by reading the screenshots here. So basically uh, what you do is you go to back to this place and you right click the here you right click here, okay, and you 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 basically say copy address here. So you go to the Windows, search for CMD, the command prompt, and you paste this link of the unzipped folder into the command window, and then after that, what you do is to go down okay you paste it and then you can type behind it install.py that is basically to activate this to execute this file inside this folder using the command prompt so if you um hmm okay maybe i did something wrong here Mm, let me go back to the tutorial. Ah, you have to type CD. That's what I missed. I have to type CD first. And this location path of the unzipped folder. And then install the PY. And then, oh no, find a path to specify. Mm. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe there's something wrong here. Maybe this is what I should be looking for. Okay, copy this one. Maybe I copy the wrong because I saw two, um, two folder name here. Now you see the earlier one, I have two folder names. Now I only have one. So I believe I have typed the wrong um, folder path now. No, what happened? 
CD. Let me go back. This is a disaster live streaming. Okay, go back. 按回车键，打开控制台。It's correct. What happened? Okay. Maybe I can try another command it provides here. It's called a Python install py. Maybe it will work. Cd this one. Python install the py. No, is it because I already installed it?、Mm, I have no idea. But you can try on your machine. <laughs> I'm live streaming, and I've made so many mistakes on this live streaming. Live streaming. <laughs> eh, on YouTube, anyway. Streaming? Well, watching? I don't know, but <laughs> with so many mistakes, that's so funny. Your YouTube channel? Huh? Yes. <laughs> anyway, well, I I installed it already, so maybe that's that's the problem. Anyway, you know where to find the second tutorial if the first one doesn't work. When I、uh, actually I use the second tutorial to to、um, install this because at the beginning I misunderstood it as the official you know the first tutorial. Anyway, I use the second tutorial. It worked. Maybe it's because I already installed that one, so now it doesn't it 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 doesn't you know show what I saw before.、Um, but the point is. You use the tutorial on this link first. If it doesn't work, by directly、um, clicking this file in the folder, you can follow the second tutorial I list here in the second link. Okay, by using the the terminal windows. So after that,、um, after that, you basically finish the installing. And、uh, here you are going to see a tab inside WPS, and you can see all these buttons that you often see when you use a Word environment. And、uh, there's something else I needed to、um, remind you. That is, for instance,、uh, there. This is also one bug、um, already recognized by the developer of this add-on. It says. At the end of it, it says that、um, I think by which one? It's about proxy. Ah,、uh, yeah, proxy. Yes, y- yes. Ah, yeah. So basically, it says that. On Windows, a known problem with the latest version of WPS is that this one function can no longer start local programs, which leads to 16. As a temporary solution, one can start proxy the py manually with a double click. So、um, the problem of this can lead to problem. Basically, um, um, because of this problem, you are going to see an error. Pop out window when you use Zotero inside WPS. Let me show you the window. So let's see. I have this paragraph. I needed to organize the citation. So I'm going to open the Zotero now. Oh, so I I hope you already know that、um, when using Zotero with your、um, editor. You need to have the Zotero run running at the same time. So if you, the Zotero is not open, you cannot cite while writing using Zotero. So now I open it. I am going to cite this one. I'm going to add edit citation. Click the button. See, you're going to see this error saying WPS Zotero network error occurred. Is Zotero running? And if you don't know how to fix it. Um, now I'm gonna tell you. So you click this one to just disable this、um, pop-out window, and you better okay. Before that, you better copy. You basically have to click proxy the py file. This one, okay. So once this one is open, 
it's uh, it's basically can it can solve that problem. So um, I'm gonna because this is from the download. I'm gonna suggest you to copy this folder to your C program, uh, to your C disk under programs files. There's a Zotello folder. I already copy and paste it here, as you can see. So um, here and in, inside this unzipped folder, you have the proxy file, and I suggest to you to send it as a desk desktop shortcut so that it is always available to you. Okay, so as you can see here, I have it as a shortcut. If I double click it, it will open this proxy file. And after that, I if I add click add edit citation. Pretty work usually. Yeah, as you can see, it works now. Thank God. So now I'm going to type do. That's the author's name. Eto. Ah, yeah, this one. See? Now enter. Yay, it works. Okay. So let me delete this irrelevant references. Okay. And let's try another one that is AI Q AI Doom. Wow, is that a an organization or a person? Okay. That's I copy and paste. Oh my god, it's frozen. My screen's frozen again. Okay, mm. well, you got the point, right? So basically, um, you can now use the title inside WPS. Um, and if you have any questions, you can post it under this uh, video. And uh, um, let's keep communicating about how to become a more productive researcher with less error, <laughs> with less error, less freezing screens. Um, so this is one thing. I think it's perhaps there's some some problems related to this uh, um, plugin as well um, that causes the, the the freezing of my my whole app from time to time. Yeah. So, but that's enough for today, and uh, I'm going to stop sharing now. And I hope I hope you have a good day. <laughs> I think my husband just <laughs> sent a message, but he also re retracted from the screen. Uh, this first thumb up must be from him. Okay. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, if you miss this live streaming, you can always come back to watch the recording. Thank you. See you next time. Oh, my hairstyles. My hairstyle sucks. Mm. Bye.